Vlogs, so it's time for another uh, monthly favorites video. So before I show you guys my favorite products of uh, January, I'm sure you guys um, are wondering who this little teddy bear belongs to and if it's even real. Uh, this is uh, my new puppy. He will be Chubby's little brother and uh, he's so cute. Oh, hi there. Oh, hello there. My name is also Kutobo. I'll show more of Damo for the end of the video, but we'll get started with the monthly favorites first. Okay, the very first product that I've absolutely been obsessed with for the past month or so is my Biodrama um, Makeup Remover. So this is an amazing, amazing makeup remover. I really think this is the makeup remover for me from now on. Uh, for the price you pay, which is um, approximately 10 pounds, you get 500 mils. And that is a lot of product. That is going to take a while for me to finish. Um, what's also great about it is that it's great for sensitive skin, which is something that I have. And it's supposed to cleanse, remove makeup, and soothe the skin. So they're soothing ingredients. This cleanses makeup off amazingly well for the face and also the eyes. It's not very often you find a good uh, makeup remover that cleanses makeup from both eyes and face that's not oil-based or cream-based. This is actually water-based and it feels really refreshing and it just... The skin is really clean. Even for waterproof makeup, it removes it very well. It's very important that I clean um, the majority of the makeup on my face before cleansing with my cleanser. And this does an amazing job. So I absolutely recommend this. The next favorite product is my Sonia Kashuk Concealer Palette. And the shade I have is in number 7 in Hidden Agenda. This is actually a gift from my friend Jess. So definitely check out her channel, guys, because she's so funny. She's really sweet and she has awesome tips. So check out her channel. Anyways, um, Jess knows me really well. She knows I love concealers. So um, she picked me this uh, concealer, which surprisingly just matches my shade really well. And it really helps because there's different shades as well. So sometimes, say, you know, one of these is in your color, you can just kind of mix them to form little palettes. So it works well for your skin tone. And it comes in two concealer shades, one neutralizer and one translucent powder. And that is really helpful because with concealer, um, it can migrate sometimes. And when you set it, it just lets it sit. The texture of this translucent powder is very silky, it's, it's very soft and smooth, so it doesn't cake. It just sits very nicely. I do like the packaging, it's very simple. And for a drugstore product, I'm pretty... I'm pretty impressed with the performance. It's so creamy, it's so easy to blend. So thank you Jess, I absolutely adore this and um, hopefully I will get another one of these babies when I run out. So the next favorite product is actually my Omega Fish Oil Soft Gels. It doesn't sound very fun, fish oils, but they actually come in little capsules so you can't taste it. The only downside is that um, the pills are they're pretty big, so you can see it's massive so you have to gulp it down with like a lot of water i try to take at least one soft gel every day you can take between one to three this one is extra big because uh, tim and i share this because it's it's good for us to take fish oils it's good for your heart your blood circulation your blood flow um it's good if you have dry sensitive skin as well it just somehow it protects the immune system. Um, a lot of you guys don't notice, but um, I actually have to take antihistamines quite often because I get skin allergies. So um, after taking fish oil tablets for the past uh, few months, I don't need to take antihistamines as much. My skin actually looks more glowy and my hair is a bit shiny. I got this in my local um, pharmacist, but you can get this in your local health store and supermarket. You can find official tablets like in a lot of different places. So next favorite product of the month is my Jill Sturt uh, Sweet Pea Blush. Jill Sturt Cosmetics is really popular in Japan. I can see why because you know they like the whole princess look. But because it's winter now and my skin like looks a bit pale these days, I um, I like to brighten it up with a little bit of pink just so it looks more cutesy and um, warmer. And if you open it up. You have two sections and it's really cool because it's actually um loose powder loose blush but it has like a little bit of net over it so it doesn't spill out it actually comes with this really adorable retractable brush but um while it looks adorable it doesn't do a very good job at applying blush it just doesn't blend and it just makes it really blotchy so i don't actually use it it smells like roses which some people would probably not mind but i can see why some people wouldn't like it especially if your skin is sensitive to fragrance so i can see one side is pink and it's a very soft kind of 
dusty rose pink, which is really beautiful. And the other side is a lighter pink, and that's actually a highlighter that you apply right over the, the blush area. And that just helps the skin look more luminous and uh, more glowy. Because it is this powder, you have to be careful because you can pick up too much product sometimes and you have to end up tapping it off, which can be kind of a waste. But uh, I do like the net design because, oh, it still, it still spills, but not as much, which is, which is cool. The final favorite product of the month is a lip product, and I'm actually wearing it right now. This is a lipstick by L'Oreal. I think this is a great daytime lipstick. Uh, the texture actually reminds me of uh, the Revlon lip butters. Um, it's very moisturizing, it's very buttery, it really doesn't make the lips peel. And the best thing about this color is because it's so close to a lip color, it really matches any eyeshadow you put on. Really, if you have a smoky eye and neutral eye, a colored eye, for some reason it still works out well. It's also really cool that uh, this works well with uh, pink blush, peach blush, and, and also even bronzer. So it's such a versatile lipstick, and I really, really love this. You can see that. It doesn't like strike a lot of attention. It just somehow balances on a face really well without being too overwhelming. So this color is perfect for you if you're not daring enough to try pinks, reds, um, oranges, or purples. You just want something that's your lip color, but maybe a little bit more. So that is us, and we shall speak soon. Bye, everyone. What kind of chubby? This is not a toy.